Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this rather fantastic Bowler Rally Challenge Defender uh, 2012 that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, starting idling action at the start of the driving video. Apologies, it's a bit windy here today and our, um, our windsock thing to keep the wind away from the microphone is broken, so we're waiting for a new one, so apologies for that in advance. Anyway, off we go. Okay, we'll just fire up this bowler. Let's take, get rid of the immobiliser. There you go. Key in. Everything lights up as it should. And goes out as it should. Settles down to a nice idle. Show you under the bonnet. 2.2 TDCI engine there, just doing what it should. As you can see the under, underside of the bonnet is still red, so it has been wrapped in Nardo grey, but that's the original colour. Two point two TDCI uprated by Bowler. Okay, let's take this Bowler Rally Challenge Defender for a spin. Um, reading, come on, needs a service which we'll do before sale. Uh, reading just under 38,000 miles. All the warning lights come up as they should. Being in excess, this one also has ABS and traction control. And off we go. Starts nicely. Um, no, importantly on a Puma, you have to check for clutch rattle at idle. None of that. Um, so, off we go. A bit different to a standard Defender this, feels a lot more planted. More lively, certainly brakes better, um, basically a rally car. It uh, does exactly what it should. No signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. Plenty of room for me. I'm six foot six and uh, most defenders are a little bit tight in but this one uh, hasn't got a rear bolt yet because it's got the full FIA cage in it. Uh, so there's bags of room in it for me. should. Steers properly, stops properly. Coats with the bumps on this incredibly bumpy road properly. It's got a forward facing um, camera on it which uh, is beeping at me from time to time. I don't know why. with a little bit more alacrity than a standard 2.2 and obviously you've got the quick shift gear system as well With the uh, with everything turned up to eleven, shall we say? The spare wheel is rattling slightly on its uh, mounting. But, uh,
suspension, bolder brakes, uh, bolder engine upgrades, and obviously bolder interior as you can see here. performs just the way you'd expect, you know, a Defender on steroids effectively. So, I think there we have it.